Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, JavaScript will be used to create variables using the let keyword. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to declare variables. You can use the let to declare function or global scoped variables with the optional initialization. I'll explain that when we actually start the tutorial. So the global scope basically means that it's available everywhere. Block scope uh, is is not really uh, block scope and function scope in this particular case. The same thing. That means that if it's declared in that block or the function scope, that's it's not going to be available anywhere outside that specific block. Uh, initialization means that if you declare a variable, if you don't assign a uh, basically be initialized when you assign a variable to it. So basically. If you create a variable and assign a value to it at the same time, that's initialization. Reassignable, this means that if you create a variable, uh, let's say it's a numeric variable, it could be a name. Maybe the name is John, and then you change it to Jane. So that's reassignable. Uh, same thing if it's numeric, for example, if it's the number two, and then you change the number to four, that's reassignable. That's not the same thing as we did in the last tutorial for when you redeclare. Only var, you can only redeclare if you use the var keyword. In this case, we're using the let. And temporal dead zone, this means that when you create a variable, um, it will only be accessible where it has been declared. That's usually when you assign a number to it. It's meaning that if you if you try to use a variable that hasn't been declared, you're going to get an undefined or you get because yeah, it hasn't been assigned a value yet. Uh, so this is very similar to the previous one. So when you have let, you could declare a function in scope or global scope with optional initialization. So in this case, you see when I said let num equals one, uh, this part here up to here, that's the declaration. When I assign a value to it, that's the initialization. If you want to see the code snippet, you can get it from here. This is the screenshot of all the uh, commands we use today for this tutorial. And this is the output using the ojumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more frequent content. And as I was uh, just to let you know about JavaScript is that JavaScript follows the MS script standard and is licensed under W3C software license. That means it's uh, open source, it's, which allows commercial use, modification, distribution, allows making derivatives proprietary. Now, to follow along here, we have uh, the video which you're watching right now. So we'll come back to this, uh, the bottom part here. But right now, let's go and begin the tutorial. Okay, I've logged into jumboshop.com, and in the down here, I chose paid content, and I picked the learning JavaScript course. So just as usual, in the IDE part, you can always copy and paste. As you see right there, I've just copy, pasted the comment. So we'll do the global scope first. So we'll let num1 equals 1. Oops. So that's when you uh, initialize it. So in this case, you see it's not initialized. But then I can assign. Uh, this is the temporal dead zone, meaning that now that I have assigned a value to it, I'm now able to use it. So for example, I can, I'll just output it. I'm going to show you an example where uh, it's unavailable outside the, uh, the block. I'll also, sh in this example, I'll just use if true. So meaning that this if statement will always run. So first thing I'll do is I'll put the global scoped variable, that's number one. And here I'll create one that is uh, local scope or, or um, sorry, oops, function scope. No, not function scope, sorry, a block scope because it's inside the if statement.
Yeah. If if I was to if I was to try to output or use number two, it will give me an error because right now it has a block scope because it's inside the if statement. So I can't use it outside. If if I try to output it, it will or do anything with it, it will give me an undefined error. So we can also reassign variables. So now, for example, I can say num1 equals 11. So if you remember on line 4, num1 was set to 1. And I was able to, because it's a global scoped one, I was able to do it in, inside the if statement. And I can change, the, I can reassign the value as I just done here, here. And then, just in case uh, that is too difficult for you, so I can also, in this case, I initialize num2, you see, and I also uh, declared it and assigned a value to it. So it means the same value as num1, which will be 11. Then I can reassign it to a different value. In this case, it would be 22. So if I output this for num1, I should expect num1 to be 11. Now num2, I expect num2 to be 22. So we compile, and down here as you can see, it's 11 and 22 is correct, and you see this is one, which was this one up here on line five. That's line five. One again, that's the one inside the if statement. And two, that's also inside the if statement, that's for num2 here. And then, as I just explained here, uh, number one here, when it's set to 11, number two is set to 22. Going back to the article, which you can find on nojumbo.com slash JavaScript hyphen let hyphen variable hyphen declaration. As you can see here, you can use, uh, to follow along to this tutorial, you could use an IDE or a text editor in a web browser of your choice, or you can just use a web browser, log into jumboshop.com and uh, paid content. Okay, I've already explained the open source and this is the ojumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. It's interactive, you can learn on your own page 24 seven. If you have any issues, you can uh, just shoot me uh, uh, from the contact form or an email or call me and I'll be able to help you. Um, as I said, all you need is a web browser or if you want to have your own ID, as I've shown in our previous tutorials, you I used NetBeans and a web browser. You can also follow along that way. So I'm offering 20% off coupon code. Uh, and you can use it, it's school until the end of 2024. If you prefer to learn at your own, uh, also at your own pace, just using the ebook, which won't come with JavaScript or uh, an ID or a text editor, you can get the ebook on on Amazon, just search for Edward Jumbo. The links are in the description. Uh, the direct links are also here under, under the article under references. You see the Learning JavaScript course on nojumboshop.com, Learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And I also have a Jumbo services to come here if you need help to create custom website or even just customizing your current website. It doesn't matter what programming language, it doesn't matter what platform. Uh, you use it could be WordPress, it could be uh, you know Shopify, BigCommerce. It doesn't really matter. It, uh, I can help you with that. If you want to make a custom application, whether it's for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, uh, Windows, or if you want to make a web application, again I can help you with that. And also if you want to. Uh, if you want just tutorials to learn how to create the things we've just discussed, or maybe just programming language itself. It could be JavaScript, Java, uh, Rust, C, C++, uh, any language out there you want. Uh, just let me know. You can visit ojumboservices.com. So that's the end. Thank you.